It's time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Thank you for joining us for another Wednesday. And every time you're watching the show, I want to thank you for tuning in to the new Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. I have a wonderful guest who's actually been a colleague and a friend for many, many years, and I'm so happy to have him here today, Dr. Jeffrey Benton. As you've seen, our wonderful e-blast that we sent out, he has an extensive bio. So we're not going to get into that, because we have too many things to talk about. But he is the Houdini of healing. And our topic today is tuning up your nervous system and uh, lactic acid and its role in your digestive system. So we're going to get into that along with phosphorus and how it plays a role in the body's ability to metabolize carbohydrates, uh, calcium. I wanted to say carbohydrates before, <laughs> but how it, um, its role in metabolizing calcium. So, Dr. Jeffrey Benton, I want to thank you very much for taking the opportunity. Why, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here and to be on your show. Well, thank you very much. We've had some wonderful people on the show and a lot of people you know. But I want to thank you for taking the opportunity to be here today. My to pleasure. To share your knowledge and what you do as far as a chiropractor. But you go beyond that. And I just want to say to people, tuning up the nervous system and lactic acid and the digestive system, all these things are so important, especially the phosphorus level and how it, its role with calcium in the body. And those are the three points you wanted to really kind of focus on. I do. Mm -hmm. And but you know, the, the primary system... Can, can I ask you something first? Ask me something that first. That really kind of kind of was, you know, on the top of my head. <laughs> Why do you call yourself the Houdini of healing? You know, the work we do in the office, mm -hmm. you know, people uh, come in, you know, with, uh, you know, in wheelchairs or they, they stumble in and, and they walk out. You know, they, they walk out straighter. They walk out with more ease in their system. Wonderful. And, and if you compare that to a lot of the hospitals, people, you know, hobble in and, and they hobble out. But sometimes they don't leave out. Sometimes they don't leave out. Right. They don't leave out vertical. Right. <laughs> Just Some, sometimes that way. they don't. Right. But, you know, um, like we have a very good track record of, uh, of getting people well now. Mm -hmm. You know, I I'm almost consider myself to be the ADD healer. Like, I just want it done now. Okay. And so, uh, and okay, well, you know, I don't think ADD healer sounds as, as uh, fanciful. But then, you know, we do a lot of muscle testing. I do a lot of nutritional consultations. Uh, last year, I did receive my... Uh, my certificate in uh, clinical nutrition on top of uh, naturopathic certification and my QME status. I've been around the block, as you have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. we've, we've picked up a few things we along the way. We've picked up a lot of things. We attend a lot of the same workshops here and there. And we do. I'm so happy about some of the other things that, that I do. My backgrounds are not quite the same because you are a chiropractor, and I'm not a chiropractor. But um, well, yeah, but that's why it works together. End, yeah, yeah. On the nutritional end, and I'm so happy I have on board with me my daughter, who is uh, Siobhan Cameron, who is a board certified uh, clinical nutritionist with her master's degree now. Uh huh. So it's been really wonderful for New Wellness to have coupled everything together. But right, you and I have referred patients for. Cardio, uh, chiropractic needs, and you have sent me medical patients as I've well. I've sent you lots of medical. Um, definitely for the breast cancer screenings, I've always wanted to send yeah. them to you to get mm -hmm. that thermography. And then I do the IV and nutrition as well, but we won't get into that right now. But um, let's let's go in with our our topic: tuning up the nervous system. Now, right. how do you do that? How do I do that? Well, yeah. that's that's yeah. that's the bread and butter of chiropractic. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. So, well, so let's start from the beginning here. The body is comprised of the brain mm -hmm. and the spine. Yes. And so, what is that? And let me explain it to you in in the role of a computer system, because everyone's listening to this across a computer. So, let's say that the spine 
is like the internet superhighway of the body. Okay. So it sends messages from the brain, which is the central processing unit, which is processing all this information, down to the body and the extremities and all the organs. And at the same time, of course, it gets sensors. There are sensors all over our body, in our hands, in our feet, in our large intestine, in our small intestine, to see what food particles are in there right. or not in there. Mm -hmm. And that messages have to get sent back up to the brain for processing. Mm -hmm. And our spinal cord is is the conduit that lets this happen. Yes. And you know, so, it's like, if I could take it a, a bit further, because what I tell people when you speak of uh, tuning up the nervous system and you're speaking of the brain as mm -hmm. far as the kind of starting there in, mm -hmm. in the spinal cord, because a lot of people will come to me and say, you know, one side of my body is hot or I'm having problems on this side or the tingling in the toes, and it's only one, one area of the foot, mm -hmm. and you deal with the dermatones, and dermatones actually are out branches yep. of the, sp the spinal cord itself so that we can see what's going on. You basically can sometimes tell from the spine based on the symptoms in the body sure. where it's coming from. Right. So you can go ahead and act on that area for healing. Right. I actually brought a spinal map with me because mm -hmm. it can't talk about the spine and the healing as it touches exactly what you're talking about, the, as there's nerves that come out of every level of the spine. And I'm not sure if it's going to translate well to hold it up, but I can... No, you I, don't have to translate it. We have a genius in this room, and that really? is Jarvis. Jarvis. Jarvis, that will pull up a spinal, Okay. and you don't have to watch him, it. what he's doing. Okay, got it. He, he is the expert. It. He is the expert. Okay, he's so on So he's it. pulling up the spine right now as right. we are talking. Right. I that's, got it. That's why I said you don't need any posters. I don't not need with any the, posters. Not with the guru here. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> you don't okay. need any posters. Good. So he's pulling up the spines and right. he's showing. I, I know he is because I've been working okay. with him long enough and showing the spines how it relates to the organs. Okay. And the systems of the body. So you could just talk. All right. So uh, so I guess the audience is looking at either yes, me they or are. you or the spine. They're looking at both. And, and if you look at the spine, you see that they're, they're the spinal levels. And at each spinal level, there is an organ system or a muscular system that the nerves go to. Yes. And there's, so there's at least three things. One, you mentioned a dermatome, which means that there's innervation of the skin mm -hmm. at a certain spinal level. Yes. There is, and I'll give you an example, the C7 uh, T1 complex. We're going we're to explain Okay. T seven. T seven. If you C seven. C seven. Cervical spine. Cervical spine. But if you go cervical spine and go to the base of the brain and go all the way down with your finger, the one that's bulging is seven. Um, you can feel it. Yes. That's how I used to tell people. That's right. The one that's bulging is C seven. That's right. You see, I got so, a little bit of. The <laughs> no, you should. Well, you're you're a healing practitioner. Yeah, you have to so know how C the body. And then put the people together. will know themselves. So you say C seven, they'll know that C seven. Okay. All right. Right. So so in the cervical spine there are seven bones, seven vertebra, and there's actually eight cervical nerves that come out because there's one between the C seven and the T one, and that's the eighth cervical nerve. Okay. So. So those nerves, and there's always a little bit of overlap. So between the seventh and eighth cervical nerve, that nerve will either, it can innervate a certain part of the hand. That's for the skin. Okay. It'll innervate the deltoid muscles, and it also innervates the thyroid gland. Wonderful. And why I want to mention that is because a lot of times people will have thyroid problems, and they think it'll come out of the blue. However, I want them to think back. Did they get into a a whiplash type accident, Our accident a yes. few years prior mm -hmm. that causes irritation to that nerve which then compromises the the quality of the ner of the nerve impulse traveling down that nerve you know that's a good point and I'm glad you brought that up because there's so many people come to me and they have thyroid issues mm -hmm. as you know it could relate to so many things but right. to look at the cervical spine I think a lot of people leave that out a lot of people leave mm -hmm, it out. Mm -hmm. uh, whenever I first got into practice, I worked for a very busy uh, a medical and chiropractic practice in Studio City. And in his experience, 99% of all thyroid issues have a nerve blockage at that level. I, and, want, every, I want you to say that again okay. and really look at the camera. People get, you know, take out a pen and paper 
And if you have a thyroid issue, after you do the Barnes test, which is on the internet, to kind of test your thyroid temperature testing, uh, you can always call me at 310-419-4300 if you don't know about that. And let's get you into that. But after doing that, I want you to repeat that again because that is so powerful what you just stated as far as the thyroid. So right. take out a pen and paper. Please share this program with uh, your friends and family as well. Okay. Right. So what, I was, what I'm going to repeat is Thank you. that um, 99% of thyroid issues uh, have a nerve block interference from the nerve plexus that supplies the thyroid gland. Okay. okay. So let's just take your hand and kind of go around and kind of show them. When you speak of the all right, so if we have so we know that the the nerves here at the back of the neck, yes, and they're going to come out and they're going to innervate the deltoid muscles, and that's important because I'll show you how to f- sort of diagnose this without any medical tools. Okay, and then the nerves, of course, come and innervate the thyroid gland. Is here the thyroid gland is right in the front of the neck. Mm-hmm. So, and you can test a compromised nerve flow by having someone hold their arm out. And you do a basic muscle test and see if it could hold strong or not. Okay. And so uh, I have them hold their hand with their palm down and then with their palm up, and I'll test it both ways. To see if it's strong as, right. as it relates to right. the cervical spine. As it relates to the cervical spine. Mm-hmm. Because, once again, the same nerve that goes to the thyroid gland also has to power that muscle. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Which could also mean that you can start having shoulder issues, some bursitis, is because if those muscles aren't firing correctly, then they're, they're out of alignment. It's sort of like a bunch of bungee cords, and they're not pulling the same strength. Yeah. So I think a person who is having issues to first make sure everything is under alignment, they would see you. Right. Yeah. They would see you. Well, that's why the nervous system, to me, is primary. Mm-hmm. So I, let's get the, the nervous system tuned up. Excuse me. <clears throat> get the nervous system tuned up and then, then see what else is left. That's why I like to... And I'm so happy that I'm, I'm a, a chiropractor because they sort of taught me the basics. Because mm-hmm. everybody's got a spine. Everybody's got a nervous system. Let's tune that up first, and then whatever is left, then we have to go and get the IVs, and we have to go and get the nutrition. nutrition nutritional component. You know, and The emotional component and, and everything, everything else. else. And I just want to say, too, because tuning up the, thyr- tuning up the spine mm-hmm. and going through the adjustments should start at birth. It should start at birth, yeah. right. No, I'm, I'm just repeating, and you're going okay. to elaborate. <laughs> okay. It should start at birth, yes. Well, it should start at birth, and it's becoming more and more popular as parents, yes. and especially in, in California with this whole vaccine mess, and parents want to have a natural, healthy way. Look, whenever a child comes out of the birth canal, that's, that's traumatic. Mm-hmm. You know? And then mm-hmm. if the physician uh, isn't gentle enough or he wants to use forceps to pull the baby out, you, you know, you're straining a little tiny baby's neck, yes, which has got are. no muscle integrity. Yeah, coming through that birth canal... It's you know, tough. that the whole journey itself mm-hmm. is a pull on the even if they didn't use forceps, it's just a pull and what they're doing, the baby's doing, the way they're flexing and coming out and right. pulling. So I know that it's really good to start doing something gentle with Very the baby gentle. at right. birth. Exactly. Yeah. You no, know, there's a whole subspecialty in chiropractic yeah, that is just yeah. pediatric. You know, babies and mommies. Because mm-hmm. we got to put mommies back together, too. Exactly. Because, because <laughs> yeah. mommy's hips have to get widened for the baby to come out. And sometimes the, they don't realign properly. I mean, I've had mothers that says, you know, ever since I've had my child, I've had back pain. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Poor mom. Yeah. And, 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 and a lot of them equate it to the spinal or the epidural. That, well, know. the epidural wearing off. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. But you should look at the whole picture. The entire Align. picture, so right. you can get back alignment. And also, as we speak in uh, alignment, is I know it's very important. We have a lot of people that go through weight loss. Yes. And after you start losing weight, mm-hmm. and the body, sh- the body is shifting with weight loss, you need to get go in for an alignment after you lose weight as well. It's true. Very important. And you know, and not only do you, we want to get a line for that, but also we want to check the, once again, the organs of digestion, make sure that the nerve supply to the pancreas and to the liver and to the stomach is intact so they can do their job properly. Exactly. You know, exactly. What, what, what if the issue of having weight on is, well, one, a thyroid gland that isn't working well mm-hmm. because that 
sends messages to the rest of the body. Yes. The body's basic metabolic rate. And if you're always sort of slow and sluggish and you're always feeling cold and you're putting on weight. Yeah. You know, and that's why it's called holistic. I mean, it's right. I, I, we now call it functional medicine mm -hmm. because we're dealing with the entire body and how it functions. Right. You know, which and it's more to it on functional medicine. But for today's subject, I just want to thank you for what we're covering. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that sort of ties in a little bit on the lactic acid and how it relates to digestion. We're going to kind of move into that a little bit. All right. Are uh, we moving a little quick? <laughs> Because well, if you have more, I mean, I well, don't want to cut spot, you off. <laughs> so. Well, I think that, uh, you know, I'm going to pass this over to you because I know he has it above. Because if you look at this little spine map, we have, I, mean, I just gave an example of the thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. But we also have, you know, every, every organ, you know, if you have low back pain or a foot pain, you know, or if, what if you have a prostate issue or you have male or female issues? Mm hmm you know, and then what if they, you know, they landed on their, they fell on their butt uh, a year or two back, and all of a sudden, you know, their sex organs aren't working right. Well, you know, the nerve supply that goes to the male and female organs go there from the low back. Now, how do you find that as it relates to men with uh, enlarged prostate, the benign prostate hyperplasia? No, I don't have that much experience with it. Okay. Because um, when really... Like, you know, more women than men come pelvic. to the office, and it's for, you know, mm -hmm. and then uh, men would just rather, of course, pop a pill than, than say, you know, I, I hurt my tailbone, mm -hmm. you know, doing something stupid, yeah. <laughs> usually. <laughs> well, it wasn't falling off a bed, but, you know. Well, whatever it is. I don't know. Working. Uh, maybe a ladder. Yeah, look, look, if you see all those, all those fabulous uh, America's Funniest videos, I think the, the, the majority of it is, is men. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't really find it funny because people look hurt. They are hurt. You know, I mean, really that, that, that's hurt. a poster child television show for yeah. chiropractic right there. I oh, mean, yeah. They are just getting hurt big time. They really are. And they need to get put back together. And they have a show. <laughs> and they have a show about it. But, yeah. um, you know, to, to look at everything as it relates to the spine and all of the entities, because we see so many people with problems not knowing that it's just needed an adjustment, you know, and get things tuned up. Get things with, tuned up. With the nervous system. Right. And I'm so glad you brought that as part of the, your topic, yeah. is yeah. tuning up the nervous system. And what about people um, that, I mean, I think we all are born sometime with one leg a little shorter than the other. How does that work? Well, we have to see, is it a functional mm -hmm. or uh, mm -hmm. is it a functional short leg? Right. Or is, like were we actually born with a short leg or is it just because the pelvis is twisted one exactly. way or the other? Tilted a little. If it's tilted, mm -hmm. because then if it's tilted, then that's exactly what chiropractors do. We want to put some blocks underneath to rebalance the pelvis. But then I do the muscle testing of the low back. I muscle test the hamstring muscles, and with one will be stronger, one will be weaker, mm -hmm. and you have to rebalance it. Because once again, just like we have bungee cords in the shoulder, you know, mu I consider muscles bungee cords. Okay. Because they're designed to stretch and then, stretch and, and then pop back. Okay. In comparison, ligaments are like rope. So ligaments really lash bones together, and muscles move bones. Okay. Okay. Um, and, well, I'll, I'll talk about one chronic injury that I see all the time, and then I'll relate it back to rebalancing Good. the pelvis. Okay. So I see a lot of dancers, a lot of dancers and, and people with dance injuries and sport in, sports injuries, and so often they have this low back pain ache. And they, they go to the doctor and they like get the cortisone shot or the pain pills. So often, I mean like 85% of the time, it's a sacroiliac alignment issue. So now the sacroiliac is the connection between the sacrum and the ilium of the pelvis. Okay. So, <clears throat> and then what really holds those together is ligaments. Because there's not a lot of muscle uh, to hold that together. There's really a lot of ligaments. And we're speaking of the lower back. We're talking about the lower back in particular. want people to know the lower back, yes. Yeah. In fact, like, look, it's the number one, in my practice, like the number one cause of the low back pain is, is that sacroiliac misalignment. Mm -hmm. And then after that, then we, we find which lumbar vertebra is out of alignment. But by putting a Band-Aid, put a big Band-Aid around your hips, will save you a lot of pain. And probably surgeries. It'll save you a lot of surgeries. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I, uh, it's true. It's true. 
I want to just say now at this point, <laughs> I'm sure our mind both went to some things, but um, people, and, and, and especially women, but not just women, who have migraine headaches mm -hmm. and stay, you know, as, as a chiropractor and adjustments, how that's relieved when the t uh, TMJ mm -hmm. and the mastoid muscles yes. are, are going into spasm. Yep. Okay. And how that relates to migraine headaches is so many people are taking so many pain pills for migraine headaches, not knowing it, they need to have an adjustment, correct? Right. Well, guess what? There's actually a connection between the TMJ, the jaw joint, and the low back. Okay. In fact, okay. I don't, like when someone first comes in and they have their list of complaints, so they have a headache and they have a jaw pain, that's great. I write it down, but I don't treat that first. I, I don't want to go to the area of complaint first. Yes. First, let me, let me do my job. Let me tune your body up, and I get back to that last. And because there's an intimate connection between your hip flexor muscles and your TMJ joint. My. And, you know, if you're not a chiropractor, mm -hmm. you wouldn't even know about it. Uh, so I want to make sure I balance, get those muscles balanced first. And then what I do is I have them, because usually uh, adjustments take place lying down. And that's, that's, that's not the best way. I mean, let me qualify that okay when we, the, when you come in in of course we have a table you lay down we do the adjustments but we don't live on our back we no, walk we around mm -hmm. so when for, someone first comes in the first step is to get them aligned laying down they yes. feel better yes but then i want to sit them up and retest some of these same muscles that were weak with them sitting sitting yeah okay and then i want them to stand mm -hmm. and i want to test the, re the same muscles because uh because different sensors get activated you know, what if uh, some sensors in the bottom of the feet are off and you won't activate them until you don't stand? So I do a nice adjustment laying down and then I think you're done and you stand up and you walk out and you come back the next day saying, Doc, it came right back. And well, they're unhappy with what I did. Well, because I felt great and then I walked out of your office, it came back. Yes. Okay, well, we need to check something deeper. We need to check farther down that whole kinematic chain is what they call it, you know. The hip bone is connected to the knee bone, connected to the shoulder bone. Exactly. It's all connected. Mm -hmm. And you need to check every step of the way. Every step of the way. I like that. I like that. So that, that's more of a complete adjustment, and that's what we do in the office. And since we do that, the results are better and stronger and faster, and hence Houdini of healing. Okay. Okay. The Houdini. The Houdini of healing. Houdini of healing. healing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I started to say, gee, that sounds a little. <laughs> but no, I, I, that's yeah. now that you explained it. Right. Okay. Now, people who have the TMJ, have you noticed them having relief from uh, ringing of the ears? There is a medical name for it, but ringing of the ears. Yeah, tinnitus. Yeah. Do yeah. they have uh, relief from that after doing the uh, TMJ treatment? A, a number of them do. Mm -hmm. More, You know, sometimes... You have to see what the ringing of the ears, what's caused by it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's going to be know, many causes, yes. Good. Let me take a moment and mention that we've been focusing on the spine, but there's a whole other t uh, type of adjusting which deals with cranial adjusting. Exactly. Okay. And mm -hmm. so it is the ringing of the ears because someone got, got hit in the head, and there's little openings in the, in the skull where the nerves and blood vessels come through. And the skull, even though... A lot of modern medicine practitioners feel that the bones fuse. They, they don't completely fuse. Mm -hmm. There's always like a millimeter of motion. There's a little bit of play. You know, we're designed to move. There's a little bit exactly. of play. Whenever we breathe in, our, our, um, our sacrum goes one way and our brain expands just a drop and exhale. And this is, pr provides a pump for our cerebrospinal fluid to move through our body. Mm -hmm. So there's definitely motion there. And so if there's pinching of the nerve that goes to the ear, then fixing the jaw won't do it. Okay. But, do, but finding out where the cranial bone is jammed, unjamming it, then that'll do it. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people that have um, problems with ringing of the ear. And it's getting worse for a lot of people. Again, knowing what the cause is. So you go through. Knowing what the cause is. Yeah. Right. And go through and find out the cause and just rule out. Rule out and take a step by step. And that's what we do at uh, New Wellness Healthcare. And you're Light Touch. Light Touch Healing Center. Light Touch Healing Center. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Healing doesn't have to be like, 
you know, as a chiropractor, yeah, people think that, oh, it's a big crack, crack. You walk bruised <laughs> no. from a hard touch. Right. Yours is a very light touch, which is very nice. And I've, right. I've had your treatment as well, so I know. It's, right. it's really wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. No, And, uh, you know, so I've taken a course in cranial uh, adjusting mm -hmm. through uh, a name named Roger Turner. He's a chiropractor up in Canada. Mm -hmm. and, and I actually brought him down to Los Angeles because he usually teaches his courses in Canada and, and some erotic island paradises. I go, look, I don't have time to go to an exotic island paradise. Mm -hmm. But um, I was at one, uh, one of my relicensing seminars in Las Vegas, and he was there. And he did two, two adjustments on my brain, just push here, whatever, two of them, and my vision improved. Amazing. Right okay. then, it's like minutes I go, oh my goodness, I'm seeing better. I have to have this guy. And I set it up, so like two years ago, uh, I got him down here, and we had a, a room of 10 chiropractors, and he you know, taught us what he does. We, he actually had, because he invites people, we do the round tables. He invites us to bring our challenging cases to come on in and get adjusted during the class. So it's really a hands-on protocol. And we had a lady coming in, and she had the, these uh, Parkinsonian tremors, and she was having to hold on to her husband as she walked in. And through the course of uh, Saturday and Sunday, because he would adjust once an hour. So do the adjustment, okay, go come back in an hour and do some more. You saw the tremors go from big tremors to mm -hmm. smaller to smaller to smaller. By the next day, she was able to walk without holding on to her husband's hand. That's a blessing. Yeah, we do things a little differently, and that's wonderful because I use the glutathione mm. that's been known to help turn around Parkinson's. And usually, sometime one treatment, you'll see a person from tremors to no tremors. Glutathione is like, like the number one antioxidant in the body. Yes, it is. So what do you find? You usually find that there's a lot of uh, inflammation? or A lot of inflammation because with, with, uh, at New Wellness Healthcare, I believe in functional blood testing. Excellent. So right. we, I'm going to look at everything. So your inflammation park markers, everybody should know. Since I'm saying this, I think everybody should be their own advocate and knowing that you can go and order your own lab results. You do not need a prescription to order your own lab work. You go yeah. to um, uh, Life, Life Extension. Life Extension. LifeExtension.com. Go to Lab, and you can see why you might need this lab test. So LifeExtension.com. You can be proactive, order your own lab tests, if though you were ordering a product. So if you want to order your inflammation markers, your male panel, your yeah. female panel, know your vitamin D3 level. You're going to talk about, you know, phosphorus, but you want to know phosphorus, calcium. You want to know the whole paradigm. You want to know the whole paradigm. You want to know everything. So it's so important that you become your own advocate. You can order as much lab as you want. Know, know what's going on. Call us at New Wellness if you need us to interpret it for you. We set everything up on a functional level, and you can have that. Have your lab test to know what's going on. But they have a male panel, female panel. You can test for everything from cancer, markers. It's just everything. So I just want to let people know I actually stopped using my lab because no, really? they have a discount. They have a one life, life extension. extension. Is better because, it's because, so much okay, better. You know, our office also has a functional, uh, functional chemistry. Yeah. So, uh, mm -hmm. you know, if someone yeah. wants to keep your... Uh, you know, keep, uh, keep know what's going on. Know what's but going to on. go to LabCorp, do you know the male female panel is one ninety nine? There's a right. discount, and it yeah. has everything. Yeah, from your lipids That's to what we use. everything, which yeah. is really really great. It's, it's great. So, so it's, it's wonderful. So life extension, you, you just like you're ordering something, you have all the results very fast. So we're going to yeah. take a little break here, and for our sponsors, and actually today I do have an additional sponsor. So New Wellness Healthcare. And Light Health, Light Touch Healing. <laughs> light Touch Healing Center. Light Touch Healing Center with Dr. Um, Benton um, is also here. So is also our sponsor. So our sponsor today is your two, New Wellness Healthcare and Light Touch Healing with Dr. Jeffrey Benton. And I just want to say it's just an honor. And what we offer is totally different from him. But what he does is absolutely amazing as well. So I want to thank you for being one of our sponsors today. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much for being our sponsor so we can keep moving forward. We keep moving forward. And Look, let people you and I know do what just you do. dovetails well together. No, we're just, we complement. Fantastic. We complement each other, and it's really wonderful. So, 
And I'm just so thankful that you came on board as a sponsor. Okay. No, you're <laughs> thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Sure. So based on that, and at New Wellness, we also offer the, as we always discuss, the vitamin C IV. I won't get into all that. Um, I do want to mention this today that we do offer uh, urinary incontinence for men and women. But I offer something else that we haven't really had a show to talk about yet, and that's rectal rejuvenation. Mm. So we actually treat rectal rejuvenation. So uh, we will be having a show on that for men and women, for rectal. Not just vaginal rejuvenation, but rectal as well. So we do have a treatment for that. Wow. You're looking at me like, really? (laughs) Okay. Well, uh, you know, I don't get... Many people. Uh, many people with that complaint. So, well, okay. you know, because you haven't advertised it. Well, that's true. Right. Okay. Okay. So, and I and I actually own the domain name. So it's rectalrejuvenation.com. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. So we do get calls and pe- we do take care of people. Okay. And it's very confidential. So uh, sure. we offer a concierge program. Also, I see people in home or in office and we have a concierge ultrasound uh, component as well. So anyone who needs to have an ultrasound done at home, uh, whether it be breast ultrasound, pelvic, uh, cardiovascular, echo, thyroid, we will offer that as well. So you have your copy and you have your copy. If you want to take it to your primary care or you have it for your own benefit, you need to know what you're doing. Because a lot of people going to health food stores, as we know, as we and know. they're just buying products and they're doing certain things. And do they know if they're healing? Just because you feel right. a little bit better, do you know if you're healing? So it's so important. Look, you can feel, that, right, yeah. you know, a painkiller make you feel better. Exactly. But are you really healing? So I know right. that was a kind of a lone intro on my sponsor and yourself. <laughs> but because of time, um, we're going to either probably, and have to probably bring you back, talk about lactic acid um, as it relates to digestion or the phosphorus um, we're, because we're, of timing. Oh, what's going on with timing? No, keep keep going. Keep, Just going. keep going. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. No, not a problem. Okay. So, so after we get the nerve system tuned up, mm-hmm. then we know that Americans are eating way too much sugar. Mm-hmm. You oh know, yes. We have, and in fact, you know, I'm sure you know that you know Alzheimer's is almost considered it's you know a type diabetes th- type three. Yes. Diabetes type three. Mm-hmm. And what's going on is there's. Tw- you know, the, the mechanism or part of the mechanism is way too much sugar because yes. we're eating too many carbohydrates. So our, the, the protein in the blood, HbA1c, is getting um, so globbed up with the yeah. sugar. It's bound so the, up the with hemoglobin, sugar. The hemoglobin, I want to say too, the hemoglobin A1c, is that's a test too if you go to life extension. Everybody should know. What is my hemoglobin A1c? Because... Mm-hmm. That is it's telling important. you what your blood sugar has been like for three months. It tells you the long term. The long term, right. yes. Right. So you want to know, not just a fasting. Um, fasting but the glucose hemoglobin, is what happened. That's what you want to know. Hemoglobin day. A1C. So it's so important that you know that. Right. So, so that's why I want to dovetail that into lactic acid. And so um, there's a product that I've been using, and it's excellent because what it does is, you know, whenever you go. To, uh, the, what does the baker use to, to make the, the flour rise? Mm-hmm. They put in yeast because that <clears throat> that that uh, converts, I believe it's it's um, carbohydrates into carbon dioxide. You know, and then people who are, are making a wine, you know, they put a little bit of yeast in there to convert the sugars into the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Now, in our body, by eating too much sugar, mm-hmm. we have by eating too much, by eating too much sugar, we have an overabundance of sugar, and then it it makes our our intestines and our stomach more alkaline. And so then, what can't get absorbed? We can't absorb our iron. We can't absorb our minerals, and it causes havoc. So we're not, you know, even though we're taking these expensive pills, if our gut can't absorb it, it's not going to get into our system. So I found out that we have a specific yeast product called lactic acid yeast, and it actually converts carbohydrates into lactic acid. It actually converts carbohydrates into lactic acid, and as a result, it can acidify the gut some more, okay. and it allows digestion to happen. So how is this playing with the small intestines as it relate, relates to the small intestines um, dysbiosis that happens in the small part? Because we're not right. supposed to have all this happen we don't want to build up more bacteria because it can cause havoc 
and our small intestines. So, I, f- you know, I find that people who have a lot of digestive issues and people who are actually bloated and have a lot of gas have a lot of relief by adding this by adding this okay. product to their okay to their food and to their yeah. diet. Now, certain things only it's just me. I I, I kind of look at more a little bit more on the clinical and on the lab testing because of the. Uh, small intestines. And small intestines, dysbiosis, and small intestines, the organisms that build up there, pre and post biotics, uh, prebiotics in the small intestines mm-hmm. can kind of cause problems. They could. If it's not done correctly. If it's out so, of balance. If it's out right. of balance. So, right. you know, putting everything into balance is what's important and to know that we're doing this and it's balanced. Of course. So, right. Both. So I'm just saying, so, you know, like, you know, uh, if you don't look at things functionally, exactly. But I just mm-hmm. want to—I'm I'm just bringing some of the home runs here to the show. Okay. And and okay. one of the home runs because I believe uh, you, maybe you spoke about the different enzymes that we really need. We should be having some, especially when we get older. We don't necessarily secrete the quality or the quantity of HCL that we need in the stomach to start the digestive process, and then we don't necessarily secrete the quality and quantity of the enzymes that we used to secrete when we were younger. So that's why we would want to supplement during our meals with the lipases or the proteases to break down mm-hmm. fats or break down And, you know, and, and just take it a step further. Proteins. Sure. Um, I always tell people, you know, where does digestion start? Yeah, it starts in the mouth. It starts in the brain. In the br- well, it starts in the brain because if I'm looking <coughs> at a food and if yeah. I don't salivate, you know, to have the ambulance there. So it starts with the brain. <laughs> I like that one. It starts, it starts with the brain. <laughs> well, it's okay. So, look, I'd say it starts in the head because the chewing, so if you, I guess if you look at it, it starts with the organs. If you look at it and you, you start and you smell it, mm-hmm. then it starts the juices going. Then by chewing. So it's the brain. So the, the head. The head to the, the brain. brain. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> but anyway. Yes, the, the brain is the CPU. If, there, if there's no, exactly. no inputs, it doesn't know and what to do. And you know what? I, I, looked, I think it's very important to see if a person have a dry mouth. Because mm-hmm. if your mouth is dry and you're chewing food, you're not breaking it down with amylase. It should be moist. It should be moist. And it should be liquefied before you swallow it. Mm-hmm. In most cases, people are swallowing so fast that are eating so fast that they're not getting... The food broken down properly. It's true. So the enzymes right. are so important. It's really important, especially in our run around you know, day we, today. We we have um, uh, a second segment a segment of the show entitled "Dining Out Healthy" with oh. Dr. Lee and Marie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, now I know. <laughs> no, that means you haven't been watching my shows because you would have seen it. <laughs> I don't mean to say it that way, but because well. <laughs> <laughs> this is every show. Okay. And I'm so thrilled that, you know, and I know the, the restaurant that we visited, uh-huh. I'm sure you have been there. So we're okay. going to kind of jump into before you leave. Sure. And I want to say right now, though, because you're not leaving. No. Is thank you so much, you know, for your knowledge and your time for being here and being a guest. Well, I, really want, I really want to thank you. So we're going to kind of jump into so everybody's happy. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to kind of jump into Marie and uh, our Dining Out Healthy with Dr. Lee and Marie. Marie, we had a great time. We did. We, we did. always do. We when always don't we do. have a good time? <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, so our uh, Dining Out Healthy, uh, take the floor. So this week we decided to do dinner because you never know our schedule where we can find a place to fit in. So we went locally here in Culver City, went to a restaurant that maybe Jeffrey knows here called Sage. Oh, yes. It's um, all vegan, plant-based, um, kind of like a farm-style, organic-style restaurant. Mm-hmm. I love, love the ambiance. Walking in was like being in somewhere else other than here in Los Angeles. So yes. that was, to me, that's really important, as you were saying about the deliciousness of the food, looking at it, and you look down at the plate and your mouth's already watering because you can't wait to taste it. Exactly. So we tried three of their, their signature dishes um, up here. As you can see, the decorations, it's gorgeous. This is our butternut squash, which was... You know, I'm going to oh, stop you on that one. That was... Out of all the other dishes, yes. I'm sorry, this was the best. Yes. Okay? Yes. This was the best, and I will go back and have that one again. I'm in agreement. That was the best. So we're going to talk about the others, but this was the best. I've Delicious. read about it. It actually was grilled. It wasn't steamed or boiled uh, ravioli, which is unusual. It was grilled, and it had a delicious um, cashew alfredo sauce and um, kale on it. So it was, it was 
just so good. We also did the Bowl of Soul, which was scrumptious, which had an array of all kinds of fresh organic vegetables that were steamed. So if those of you who love it raw, this is the dish to try. Yes, because for those of you who love it raw. It's, it, everything was raw. <laughs> no pun, but actually... <laughs> it's a, it's an acquired taste because some people are looking for things that are cooked. Yes. This dish in particular, most of the ingredients aren't. So it's, you know, it's very chewy, very full of flavor. And yes. so if you're looking for it, I highly suggest the bowl of soul. Yes. We yeah. also did at the end, we actually, they brought out to us was, um, they call them their signature dish of street tacos. I'm Mexican, so I grew up with the original street tacos of carnitas. Well, this was with jackfruit, and I love jackfruit, and this was scrumptious. For me, growing up as a meat eater, this by far was no comparison. It was delicious. It was I would wonderful. definitely, definitely cook with this yes. and then order it again. Mm -hmm. And I brought it home to my son and he thought it was carnitas. And I said, mm -hmm. no, it's jackfruit. <laughs> so, you know, you trick them and they're, they're like, wow, this is really good. And it's good for you. And it was delicious. And jackfruit delicious. is full of... And so many people are on special diets and gluten-free and, you know, just really watching what they eat. And a lot of vegan and vegetarians as well. So Sage is just a wonderful place too. It's fun. It's young. It's got. It's clean, and they have a delicious array of desserts. Well, we were too full to really try this yes. time, but they have amazing desserts. Which is visually walking in there, you know, they have all kinds of organic gelatos and ice creams, all you know, made with non-dairy. And I got to taste them, but I didn't really have a dessert with it. So mm -hmm. next time we will have to definitely go back next time and uh, check it out. But anyone who's on Sepulveda Boulevard in Culver City and you need a place to stop it, I highly recommend to going and to And they're Sage. open to late as well. They are. They're open until midnight. And they have parking. And they also have a full bar for those who like to have their, they do have, they have a, a beer ginger, garden. They a have beer a garden. ginger cocktail. Yes. Not to say I had it, but Ginger, yes. ginger's excellent. Yeah, but they have yes. a ginger cocktail. Okay. It's really good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is great. So I just want to say thank you so much, Marie, for Dining Out Healthy. I also want to, before we close with the show, I want uh, Dr. Benton to just give his phone number and address to his location really quickly here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. sure, you, <clears throat> absolutely. You can find me at 6360 Wilshire Boulevard in Los Angeles. Uh, take my number down, 323-297-0566. And they actually see it on the screen there, so you don't have to repeat it again. Okay, good. So and, this is and, radio and television, which is great. Oh, that's great. right. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. And which then is great. www.houdiniofhealing.com okay. to find out more about me and what I do. Okay. And uh, find yeah. me on Facebook and Instagram as well. Okay, and yeah. I want to thank you again for being our sponsor. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now, as we end the show, I always end it with my wonderful little saying. And I'm so thrilled about, um, I, you know, I'm actually wearing my button today, if those can see it. And I'm just really happy because of the fact that I am grateful. I am grateful to still be alive. As most people know, my whole journey of health through cancer and two comas and you name it, and I am still standing. As one of our guests was here, I'm still vertical. So I am happy. So repeat after me. I am I, I am. am so grateful, so grateful that I am that I am a magnet, a, a magnet for miracles, for, for miracles. miracles. And you know, visit our website at New Wellness Healthcare. Send me in your miracles. What was your miracle for today? But start off your day every day with being grateful, being grateful, being happy, and hug someone, heart to heart. Where the heart goes, the love goes. Thank you so much for tuning in to New Wellness Healthcare with your host, Dr. Cherylon Lee. And thank you for joining us for our segment, Dining Out Healthy, and my special guest, Dr. Jeffrey Benton. Join us next week. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body. Thank you.